Out to the Upper Valley, where 4th of July celebrations were back with a vengeance this year. Big crowds turned out for parades, fun and games, and even some time on the farm. Here's NBC5's John Hawks. In Heartland. <laughs> at Old Home Day, there are tractors. Classic cars, scouts, and just about every facet of the community came together for a parade. People lined Skunk Hollow Road. <laughs> You know, really, our cycle of life. I mean, my family and uh, uh, and I have been coming since uh, I don't know, probably 25 years. Uh, our kids were very young; they're now 25 years old and uh, off doing what they uh, what they do. And uh, we still come back because it just feels just feels right. The tradition is kept alive year after year. This is Heartland's day. This is our like community day. It always has been. Heartland, uh, long before I was here, uh, Old Home Day has always been a huge day for the town of Heartland. And it feels like everyone that lives in Heartland comes down here and plays a part in this event. The crowd of hundreds turned out Monday, eager to forget the 2020 cancellation and the scale back event last year. This is the first time we've had this event back full scale with uh, all the games and all the activities uh, through the COVID era. So it's really important for the town to get these social opportunities, everybody to get out and see everybody's faces again. and. Uh, it's a great, it's a great uh, morale boost for the whole community. Young kids involved every year, collecting candy thrown from passing floats. So I go to this parade every year, and I think this year was like extra exciting. I liked um, how they had the princesses walking. It's all made more special spending it with loved ones. I think it's really nice spending time with family on the 4th of July, because we get to see a lot of things together. We have fun, so. In Woodstock, at Billings Farm and Museum, they're celebrating fourth on the farm. Though her voice would be merry. Celebrating the country's independence with traditional games and activities. These traditions of the games, the baseball, their American traditions, their family traditions, it feels like a down-home kind of event where everybody's just having fun and being together. A 19th century version of baseball played on farm fields. The old fashioned rules and our staff wear old fashioned baseball costumes as well. So you really feel like you're out there playing in 1860, 1860 rules and, um, and the field is set up that way. The biggest changes from the modern day game, no gloves, no called strikes, and you can get an out catching the ball after a bounce. Oh. It's really fun. Uh, I like going on outfield um, when we're playing the field because it's uh, it's it's really fun to get uh, to catch something that was hit out there. The field looks familiar, only with wood shavings as foul lines. Billings Farm passing the tradition of the games down to the next generation, one swing at a time. In Woodstock, John Hawks, NBC5 News.